Welcome to our Indiana Center for Middle East Peace Earth Day Conference. The origins of uh, this conference come from my reading from self-described geologian, uh, Father Thomas Berry, who wrote, simply put, we are earthlings. The earth is our origin, our nourishment, our educator, our healer, our fulfillment. Everything has a right to be recognized and revered. Trees have tree rights, insects have insect rights, rivers have river rights, and mountains have mountain rights. Our planet has given us all the elements that make up our bodies, the water in our flesh, our bones, and all the microscopic cells inside our bodies all come from the earth and are part of the earth. The earth is not just the environment we live in, we are the earth and we are always carrying her within us. So that's uh, the origins of today's uh, meetings. So finally, it's my happy duty to say thank you to the many folks this morning who made this conference possible. <clears throat> we always uh, begin by saying thank you to the pastors and members of Plymouth Congregational Church, United Church of Christ. One of Plymouth's pillars is environmental justice and care for the earth and the church's environmental action team uh, is very active. And so it's one of the real strong, uh, re re really one of the strengths of Plymouth Church that they're involved in, that we're involved in social justice and environmental justice activities around the community. From the very beginning of Indiana Center for Middle East Peace 17 years ago, Plymouth Church hasn't only been our host, but in every sense a partner in our work. So we're really grateful to the pastors and people of Plymouth Church. A special thank you to the Conference Planning Committee, Ani Connor, Terry Doherty, Pam Etheridge, Jan Everard, Linda Kerr, Barb O'Connor, and Patty Pendleton. And thanks to John and Kim Detraz, who recorded my interviews with Malik and Reverend Liz, and they'll be posted on the Indiana Center for Middle East Peace YouTube channel. Thank you to the many social and environmental justice organizations who have displays uh, in our Folsom Fellowship Hall. I encourage you during our transition times, uh, we planned our transition times specifically so that you can visit the displays and uh, on the first floor in the Folsom Room and grab some light snacks and something to drink and, and enter into conversations with the people who are hosting the displays. Thank you to the organizations providing workshops today and their representatives. The Indiana Poor People's Campaign. They'll be meeting upstairs in the large classroom in the middle of the hall. The Little River Wetlands Project, they're meeting in, uh, on the first floor in the chapel, right outside the back doors and to the left and right in the chapel. Midwest Building Decarbonization Coalition and Faith in Place, meeting in the youth room in the basement and the Sierra Club, meaning right at the top of the stairs in the Quaker Room. We really owe these organizations a debt of thanks uh, for all the work, all the work that they're doing in our community. So please uh, make good choices this morning and check out these workshops. Thank you to our partners who, whose gifts have made this conference possible. You can read their names on the inside of your program. We're really, really very grateful to you who have served as partners today. A special thank you to Ron and Jane Caldwell and the Happy Way Foundation for their significant gift, which provided the seed money for our keynote speakers. So thanks uh, to Ron and Jane and the Happy Way Foundation. And of course, thanks to each one of you for committing yourself to being here on this beautiful April morning to learn more about what we can do together uh, in our community in the cause of environment, environmental justice. So enjoy the conference this morning, and again, welcome to you all.
Awesome. Thank you. It's great to be here with all y'all. Great to be with Reverend Liz. Um, and yeah, like, like Reverend Kimberly said, uh, we know that it's important to put, put our power and our pain and our resolve on full display in all of its beauty, in all of its grandeur. Um, and one of the things I always like to tell folks when we're about sing is that you have a duty to look out for your neighbor in all kinds of ways, right? You believe that? You got a duty to look out to, for your neighbor? But one of the ways you can look out for them today is singing loud enough so that they don't have to hear themselves. And then you can trust that they'll do the same for you. So that way, if you both sing loud enough, then no one has to hear how they sound because you just get to hear how we sound. And I'll tell you, it's something transformative to hear how we sound and to imagine where we can take that sound. So, so in our movement, we know that we ground ourselves in the songs that we sing and that we've been singing for generations. And, and one of those songs is entitled, Somebody is Hurting My Brother, My Sibling, My Sister. And, and so I'm going to teach it to you real quick. You've already got it in your hearts. Um, you'll figure out the lyrics and the rhythm, um, and we'll get into step, and, and we'll feel that. Um, so first, I'll just talk through it. So, so we'll say that, and I want you to just repeat, it out, re repeat back to me, all right? Somebody is hurting our family. Somebody is hurting our family. And it's gone on. And it's gone on. Far too long. Far too long. Far too long. Far I want you to hold on to that part. I really want to hear y'all on that far too long. You can sing every bit, but you really got to hit that far too long. I need to know that you feel how long it's been. So say it one more time. How long has it been? Far too long. That's right. Somebody's hurting our family, and it's gone on. Far too long. Yes, it's gone on. Far too long. I tell you it's gone on. Somebody's hurting our family, and it's gone on far too long. And we won't be silent anymore. Say that, say that last part again. And we won't be silent anymore. Not being silent can sound a little louder, so I want to hear it on the next one. Did you hear somebody's poison in the water? And it's gone on far too long. Yes, it's gone on far too long. I tell you it's gone on far too long. Somebody's poison in the water. And it's gone on far too long. And we won't be Somebody's hurting our brother, and it's gone on far too long. Yes, it's gone on far too long. I tell you, it's gone on far too long. Somebody's hurting our family, and it's gone on far too long. And we won't be silent. We'll do one more. Someone's hurting our family. <laughs> Did you hear somebody's hurting our family? And it's gone on far too long. Yes, it's gone on far too long. I tell you, it's gone on far too long. Somebody's hurting our family, and it's gone on far too long. And we. Silent anymore. Say that again. And we won't be silent anymore. Yeah, that's how I feel it. Yeah. And now look look at your neighbor that sang loud enough for you and tell them that we won't be silent anymore. We won't be silent anymore. Now look to that other neighbor. We won't be silent anymore. And tell them we won't be silent anymore. No? Go ahead and tell them you love them too. And I'll tell you, I love you. Appreciate y'all. Oh, so much love to Patty and to Crystal Durrell, our hometown organizer for the whole state. She's, these rock stars are making it so that you'll be on the bus and in the program and, and online um, joining this campaign. So thanks to the amazing, beautiful uh, Indiana Poor People's Campaign. 